What's good guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm actually doing some validations in an office block. We're gonna be fitting this out with a Cat A fit out, hopefully if we're in the job. So we just need to check the existing mains, the existing setup, the existing systems to see what could be reused, what's no good, what needs replacing. Get a real feel for the place and get all the information we need to validate and therefore price a job. That's all very boring though, but what I have found during my validations is an absolute cowboy of an EV charger install. So I thought we could tear that new one together. Also some real weird like parallel earth paths through the EV chargers. But yeah, it'll be an interesting one. Let's uh, run the intro and get into this video. boards we're testing um, we've just been yeah testing some circuits looking at the existing systems like I said and uh, yeah just looking at things you know we've got singles just off the main switch doing the metering there is a dedicated metering kit for this board so that's not really great uh, Schneider spec also requires that you take the earth to this point first before going over to the earth bar which they haven't done um, just little things like that we note down so that we're not going to get caught out when we use these systems or say that we need to change them we're sort of justifying everything i've been checking out some of these circuits as well looking at these but what's funny is we've got these two circuits here which are a couple of ev charging circuits now the main problem i have with this absolute cowboy of an install is that it shares the same cable so that's two circuits across one cable they share the same cpc so you know that's not great but also you've got like you know isolation issues if you were to drill through that cable you could potentially only trip one of those circuit breakers there's obviously other live services within that cable so that's bad one could trip so you you think it's dead etc now you should be doing safe isolation but that's just going to make things so much more confusing it's poorly labeled at the other end as well you've also got two phases so you've got 400 volts in there you know in that in that cable so yeah there's a there's a few sort of issues with that mainly isolation issues labeling issues but it's just rough if there was a fault on one circuit it could carry over to the other they share the same earth so you know <laughs> there's no rcds involved here if you had a fault to earth the other circuit that's live could you know um, have that issue introduced to it so that's all really really bad but there's also an underlying issue which i'm going to show you using a clamp meter so you can see here with both breakers i've got um i've got 3.7 amps going through this neutral and this is the top circuit and we've proven this so if i turn the top circuit off this neutral should be dead but it still has 3.7 nine amps running through it and that is because this is about 150 meter cable run this is on load at the minute and through inductance because these two circuits are run together through that distance four amps is being induced from this circuit onto this one so even when you isolate this circuit and you think you're sweet the neutral is still going to be carrying four amps so that is obviously really bad. You're gonna isolate that circuit potentially, go to prove it dead. And if you don't test properly, or you know, you don't check that fully, there's gonna be four amps there, which will kill you. So that's pants. Now there's also the actual install downstairs. There's no pen fault protection. It's dog rough. I'm gonna take you down there and we're literally gonna tear it a new one together. Right, so we're down in the car park now of this building and we've got the two chargers. So this is where it gets, it gets even worse somehow. Forgetting like the design issues, it just is banner. Let's, let's turn the camera around. Cables come in, we've got two separate earths. I don't know if I mentioned that, but we've got two separate earths. Even though you've got the, sh the shared CPC of the armoured, you've got two separate earths ran um, instead of the two separate armoureds, I guess. It's almost like it would have been harder to do it this way, but whatever. Into this adaptable box, we've got 230 label on it, even though it's 400 volts, because we we're across two phases. They didn't even think to, to put them on the same phase. And then uh, this is where it's split. So you've got one Copex going into this charger here, and then another SWA, which runs under the ground over to the other charger, which is sort of over there. Now let's, um, let's, <laughs> let's get the cover off this. Be, be ready, because this is jokes. Ta-da! So this is the isolation point for these <laughs> two chargers. So they have made their very own little board effectively we've got buzz bar in there 
bus bar, should I say. We've got circuit protection in a non-IP rated enclosure. Yeah, absolute joke. And then that cable, you can see you've got, again, the two lives, the two neutrals into double pulse switches and then into 20 amp breakers, 20 amp breakers. And then, um, yeah, they go out their separate ways. But yeah, it's just so rough so rough now i don't know where these earths go to they obviously go to one goes to this armored the other um goes through that connector block these earths are actually creating parallel path issues for the earth for that board as well so i don't know if it's where that swa sheath goes through the ground or where it's fixed to this concrete which is maybe in the earth but um yeah i'll show you more of that in a bit but there's this is a parallel path to the main earth of that fuse board and we've got issues here as well. There's a bit of current running through this, which I'll show you in a little bit, but how bad is that? That is an absolute joke of an install. And I just can't believe, you know, these, these charges don't have, as far as I'm aware, no pen fault protection, no RCD protection. Yeah, they're, uh, they were installed in 2015. Well, that's the test, the test date on them. On the inside of here is, uh, 2014 we've obviously got a board chart as well like any any good fuse board you have a board chart yeah 20 2014 banter absolute banner i'm going to get a cover back on this um because it's literally hurting my eyes and then we'll head upstairs and we'll talk about the earth leakage on those bad boys so for anyone interested in what we actually do with validations we got drawings that we're marking up and stuff like that but ryan one of our pms has been doing a site audit pros this is a wicked app basically we just go through and we record everything down to mains issues mains information we got drawings on there board charts we've obviously documented the ev charger issues heavily done some thermal imaging on some stuff that's been a bit hot um yeah just basically getting as much information as possible so that we're covered and also when we go back to the office to price off of drawings and stuff like that that we're definitely not going to miss anything but yeah that's all very boring but for those interested i thought i'd show you what's involved with that stuff so back in the mains if i turn everything off including both ev chargers we have got 3.3 amps going through these two earths now that's with every single breaker off. So there's a bit of earth leakage basically in this installation that is, is getting through somewhere. It may not be through any of these lives, but it could be through obviously the neutrals not switched at the minute. And if we turn that off, that drops down to 0.6 milliamps. So it's definitely leaking through this installation. Obviously there's other circuits involved, other services, metal containment, shared containment. So there's parallel paths there, but it's leaking through here to earth. Now, generally earth leakage is quite normal, but it will leak through the earth of the installation. But the earth of the installation has only got 200 milliamps, which is still a little bit concerning. If we turn that off, that drops down to 50 milliamps. But yeah, all the leakage should be going through here. But because these two earths basically run down through the risers, touching all sorts, and then they basically connect via the EV chargers to true earth, whether that's through the concrete, through the ground, whatever, they are a more appetizing earth path, and therefore all the leakage is going through these 3.4 amps worth so that's nuts like even with all of this off if you isolate this charger the earths at the ev are um yeah they're carrying 3.2 amps obviously that's not a current carrying conductor it's a cir circuit protective conductor so that's not great and if you want to see how much current that actually is we can undo these in this uh controlled environment obviously do not do this at home children we can grab our boddington's pliers we can pull one of them out the way if we grab another one I'll try and show you how much that is sparking literally see that sparking all over the place so 
yeah, it's, um, it's really not great considering those are just a couple of earths that serve a circuit which is isolated. So these are the considerations you need to think about when you're supplying an outdoor charger from a circuit, from a, from a fuse board on the third floor. And uh, yeah, the problems that that can introduce, which considering the rest of the install, I don't think these guys were really worried about anything, let alone parallel earth paths. But yeah, that is uh, really, really bad. Right, that is all for today's video. Sorry it's a little bit rushed. I've got lads waiting for me to get out of here because we are definitely done. Just wanted to take 10 minutes to show you that. It's also probably quite a short video compared to my usual sort of effort, but um, it was interesting. I wanted to quickly show you guys how rough was that? I mean, they introduced more problems than they solved, I think. Yeah, they clearly didn't care about the install they were doing at all, but by being that neg negligent, they've introduced other parallel earth errors and yeah it's um it's so rough so rough they also ran two earths to din rail connectors and if you don't know din rail earth connectors link through the din rail so it didn't need to do that but yeah terrible install absolute joke and uh, hopefully we sort it out when we come back and if we win the job basically obviously it looks great to the client when you do your due diligence and you find stuff like that make them aware of it, it shows that you care show that you Know what you're doing so that's really important um and it's just good to cover your bum basically when you're when you're doing validations and trying to win commercial tenders it's really really important that's all for today's video thanks for watching catch you in the next one